Hello friends and welcome to today's lesson understanding fractions equal parts of a whole. What is a fraction? I don't know. Well, a fraction is a way to show parts of a whole. This fraction or this slice of pizza is part of the whole pizza, so it is a fraction of the pizza. What is a whole? A whole is all of the parts of a shape or a group. This is a whole chocolate bar, no pieces missing, no pieces eaten. This is a whole sandwich. No pieces missing, no pieces eaten. And this is a whole classroom with all students present. I want you to imagine that you are about to eat one whole sandwich for yourself. And then your little brother walks in and says, Can I get a piece of your sandwich? You're gonna be a good sibling and you're gonna share the sandwich fairly and equally. Cut it down the middle like this. So we're taking the whole sandwich and we're going to take this one whole sandwich and represent it by a square. We're going to cut it like this. Now we have one part, two parts. When we have two equal parts, we call those two halves. If we cut the sandwich like this and this, we would have one part two parts, three parts, three equal parts, we would say that's three thirds. Cut the sandwich this way and this way, and you would have one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, we would say four equal parts would be four fourths. Cut the sandwich this way, this way, and this way, vertically, we would have one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, six parts. So this sandwich has six equal parts, or that's right, six sixths. Let's take the sandwich again and cut it this way, horizontally, again horizontally, one more horizontal line and then a vertical line, we would have one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, six parts, seven parts, eight parts. Eight equal parts would be eight eighths. Now how many equal parts and what is the name for each part? Here is one part of the window, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So we have six equal parts and that's considered six. Very good. Again, how many equal parts and what is the name for the parts? We've got one, two, three, four. We have a total of four equal parts. What do we call four equal parts? Excellent, fourths. How many equal parts and what is the name for each part? We've got one part, two parts, three parts. How many equal parts? That's right, three parts. And what do we call three parts? That's right, thirds. How many equal parts and what is the name for the parts? We've got one, two, three, four parts, five parts, six parts, seven, eight parts. How many equal parts do you see? You've got it, eight parts. And what do we call eight parts? Eighths. So, are the parts equal or unequal? Now, if the parts are equal, then we say it's fractional, which means it's a fractional part. And if the parts are unequal, then the shape is not fractional. In this case, the parts are 
not equal or unequal, so it's not fractional. Again, are the parts equal or unequal? If the parts are equal, then the parts are fractional. If the parts are unequal, the parts are not fractional. I can see these parts look exactly the same. They're the same shape and the same size. So they are equal and the parts are fractional. If the parts are equal, then the parts are fractional. If the parts are unequal, then the parts are not fractional. In this case, the parts are not fractional. They're not the same shape and same size. So they are unequal and not fractional. If the parts are equal, they are fractional. If they're unequal, they're not fractional. The parts are equal, they are fractional. Very good. Both of these parts are the same shape and size. Let's consider what we've learned today in this lesson. We've learned that a fraction is a way to show part of a whole, like this piece of slice of pizza. A whole is all of the parts of a shape or a group. A whole chocolate bar, a whole sandwich, a whole classroom. Two halves, two, three thirds, four fourths, six sixths, and eight eighths are all equal parts. Parts can either be equal or they can be unequal. So in this case, we have equal parts, so the parts are fractional. In this case, the parts are not fractional, they're not equal, and we won't consider them to be a fraction. So this is the end of your lesson. I hope you learned a lot. I will see you on the next video.